today I'm going to show you how to make a fabulous star stitch dishcloth. That's coming up next. I think I'm gonna be okay. I think I'm gonna be amazed in this beautiful day. Pretty smile. Welcome back to Your Inspirations as well as the crochetcrowd.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today you're gonna learn how to make a dishcloth and this is using the Bernat Handy Crafter. You can also use uh, Lily Sugar and Cream. Using a size H 5 millimeter crochet hook today and we're going to be making a star stitch uh, particular dishcloth. You can use this kind of pattern for anything that you wish. But look at this. I change color uh, every two lines. So basically a star is made up of two rows. One across, one back. Change the color. But look at the back. Isn't that neat? That is really neat. I love how the stitches did almost like a sewing machine kind of quilting effect. It's really neat. So either side I love and today you're gonna learn how to make one of these. Today we're going to start off with the slip knot to make our first chain and I'm going to just leave this creativity with you. You can make the chain any way that you want. You should know that usually when I chain I go one, two, it, it's always in groups of two. So it's one, two, one, two, one, two, two. I get the size that I want. You should notice that when you do this you are going to lose four of those last final chains up into the first stitch. So for example say that you just said one, two, one, two, one, two and it has the exact same width as this. By the time you start the stitch it's actually gonna be much smaller. It's actually gonna have a shrinkage of maybe about an inch shorter. So when you're making your chain just be aware of that so that you get the right size you want the first time. So let's begin. We're going to begin to chain in groups of two. Remember that the one on the hook already does not ever counts as one. So we just have one, two. So one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. And one, two. I'm just gonna go this. This is just a sample because you can get and go as far as you need to go. So let's uh, begin and I'm gonna show you the next part. To begin the next part what I want you to do is coming second chain from the hook. I want you to insert the hook into the chain, grab the yarn and pull up just like so. Now I want you to go to the next chain and insert into the hook, insert into the loop and then pull through and up and leave it on your hook. Go into the next, insert, pull up. You want a total of six loops on your hook. So pull up and pull up just like so. So now you have a total of six. Once you have all six grab the yarn and pull through all of the six. So do you see when all of these stitches they're gonna all pull up on their sides. So then basically that's why it shrinks in the very beginning. And now we're just gonna chain one. So we're just gonna grab the yarn and chain one which forms the very center of your star. So here's where it gets confusing and I'm gonna take my time and I'll probably get closer to the camera too. To do this part is actually really kind of confusing and I really am gonna take my time. So what we have is that we have the eye of the star. We have all the posts that came wrapped around it. We have the chain where the star is the last been into and then we have the remainder of the chain. What we need to do is that we need to need to utilize part of the star before we carry on to the actual chain and this is almost like Tunisian. Kind of reminds me of that. So we're gonna insert our hook into the eye first. So go right into the eye and pull through. We're now gonna look at all the posts that made up the star and we wanna come in between the two last posts. So you see there's post one and post two. We wanna insert in between the two posts. Insert and pull through. We then want to come into the stitch where it's coming into the chain. It's the where the last post goes into the chain. Insert and pull through. So by this time we have four loops on our hook and we have not even gone into any new chains yet. So the next two chains are going to be uh, picking up and just gathering. So just like I am did. So go in and pick up. And now you have your six again. So you are going to pull through all six like so. So let's uh, begin to do the next one. So we are gonna make the eye first. Okay, so if you are remembering we insert into the eye. We insert in between the two last posts and this takes a bit getting used to just so that you are aware. You are then gonna come into the chain where the final star was in and now you have your four and now you are gonna advance two more chains. Okay, now you have your six. So pull through all six. So your lucky number is six. Once you get a six you wanna pull through everything and create and chain one to create the new eye. So let's begin. We're gonna go into the eye. 
we're gonna go in between the two posts. We're gonna come into the chain where the last star was. Okay. And then what we want to do is that we want to advance two more chains. So, okay. And we continue to do this all the way across. So now you have your six pull through. So I'm gonna show again. So you're not confused at all. So chain one to create the eye. So we have into the eye. We have in between the posts. We have the next chain. Okay, the chain where the final star is. And then we advance two more empty chains. So this changes when we get up beyond this level. This is how you start this chain off. You get six. Okay, and then just chain one. Now when you come to the very final, all you're just gonna do, say we're actually done now, so we're just gonna do, uh, half double crochet into the final chain that you have. Like so. Now you're going to notice that there is a gap in the final. You should know that that's just a, a thing with the stitch. It does happen. Okay, so one side is gonna be all nice and solid. The other side is gonna be flat. I played around with the idea. It's always gonna happen just like that. So let's turn our work and pretend that we're done this and move up. So to turn our work, we're just gonna turn it and we're going to begin. This is the easiest row. So if you master the first one, this one's a walk in the park. So you're going to chain one first and you're going to single crochet into the top of the beginning that you did. So single crochet. On the first eye, you will see that there's gapping spaces and they're the eyes. So in the first eye, you're only gonna do one single crochet. And now every eye that you run into, okay, you see how they're all coming together? Every eye you run into now is going to have two single crochets. So it's only that first one that gets one. All the rest of them each get two single crochets. And this makes the upper part of the star. Okay, and you come into the final eye. And once you have your final eye done, all you're just gonna do is single crochet into the top of this section right over here. And I'm going to show you how to start the next row of stars. So you can see the star has been formed. To start the next row of stars, okay, so this is a completed. So on this example here, this is one whole section. So if this is what I have, this is one row of solid. So you can change your colors if you wanna start any other rows. So every time you go down and back and do the single crochet, that means that one whole star is complete. To begin the next set of stars, this is where it gets complicated and I'm gonna take my time. So to begin, we're going to chain two, one and two. And let me point something out to you. Every chain has a total of three strands of string. You have one, two, and three. Doesn't matter which level it's at. So you have one, two, and then the back one there. So what we want to do when we're going to do this is that we have to pay attention to those strings because we're gonna use those as our reference point to where we need to stick our hook. So just like we were gathering through the eye over here, we need to create a falk, uh, well a face, uh, a false kind of uh, eye to begin with. So we're gonna come second down from the hook and we're only gonna go into one strand, one of the three. And we're gonna pull through. On that same chain, go around to the other side and grab another string that's part of it and just pull through. So basically the two strands that I've just created here are into the same chain. And then we come right into the base of where this is all started. So right at the base of the single crochet. So by the time I've gotten here, I've got my four, which is no difference than what I've been doing before. And now I'm gonna advance two stitches on the row. So this is be like it was a chain of zip. There was nothing there. So now you have your six again. So pull through and now form your eye. So chain one and let's begin to work across. This time there's no chain to work with. We're gonna work with actual stitches. So we're going to go into the eye first. We're gonna go into the post just like you did before in between the two posts. You're gonna come into the same stitch where the last star was just formed and then you're gonna advance two more stitches just like so till you have your six and pull through. Chain one to form the new eye and let's begin again. So eye, post, I just say post, it's in between the posts and then this is where the star comes out of. So the next, so the first stitch like that and now the next two empty stitches we're gonna advance two. So we'll just pick up the next two and pull through and chain one. So I post, ok, 
okay. Same stitch where the star is. So you have your four and now you're gonna advance two more stitches. And pull through. Okay, I think I just got one more star to do because I'm hitting the end. So I'm just gonna go to the eye. I'm going to go to the post, to the stitch where the star is and then the next two. Like so you have your six, pull through everything, chain one and then you're simply just going to half double crochet into the beginning just like so to form that final. So then turn your work just like so and you can begin your next level. So it's just chain one. So this is and then go into the same stitch. Okay, the first eye okay is right here. And you're only gonna do it once and then the next eyes are all two single crochets each. So you can see how you can kind of whip across these pretty fast when doing it. I did try other ways of techniques of making it half double as well as double crochet in this technique. You really lose the effect of the star so it's not very effective on being able to do that. And then finally at the end you're just going to single crochet and then begin again with chaining your two and then start the process all over again. So that would be how you would make a dishcloth using the star stitch. So thank you on behalf of Yarnspirations as well as thecrochetcrowd.com. Join me next time for more free ideas and patterns. Until then, we'll see ya. Pretty smile.